How's it going you guys and welcome to a morning cup. So we started off with a microscopic animal that was frozen for the past 24,000 years. Came back to life because the scientists essentially thawed it out and then it duplicated itself. So a microscopic animal that has returned to life after being frozen for 24,000 years in Siberia, according to a new research published in Current Biology, scientists dug up the animal known as the Beldoid Rodifer from the Alayaza River in the Russian Arctic. So deep, deep, deep into Siberia. As the tiny animal thawed out in a laboratory, it was able to asexually reproduce in a process called pathogenesis. In the process called parthenogenesis. That a creature that was frozen for 22,000 years came back to life and then duplicated itself. What if this was a virus? What if it could result in more viruses thawing out as we know that global temperature rises are thawing out ginormous chunks of arctic ice that well in harbors a bunch of microbes as opposed to harboring ginormous creatures as otherwise feared upon what this results in in the future is anyone's guess but new shots in the dark are of course being fired Shashi Tharoor is back at it firing those shots so a vaccinated woman is seeking a vaccinated man and that ad is in the papers and on this the congress mp Shashi Tharoor posted on twitter stating that a woman who's vaccinated is seeking a groom who's also been vaccinated reacting to the ad he said that vaccinated bride seeks vaccinated groom and, and without a shadow of a doubt the best marriage gift would be a booster shot so that was his attempt at a joke which wasn't really funny but which is very much accurate considering the fact that people are going left of center to either be vaccinated themselves or affiliate themselves with people who are being vaccinated which is actually a good thing governments are organizing a bunch of drive out campaigns to get more and more people to well go out of their way and vaccinate people are getting subsidized people are getting cash rewards numerous companies are putting out ventures in which you can get vaccinated and you automatically opt in for a giveaway or something of the similar sort bottom line being get vaccinated even though it's a joke but if you want to get married in the future and if the future bride you're looking for needs you to be vaccinated what are you going to wait till your time comes and then get turned down because you're not vaccinated don't you want to get married bro a new blue whale population has been found in the indian ocean via bomb detector technology so in unsw sydney led scientists have claimed that they found a new population of pygmy blue whales in the Indian Ocean using bomb detector data. They use data from the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization, the CTBTO, and found an unusually strong signal. And they were like, oh, are Indians testing nuclear bombs again? The whole thing started because of that. Turns out that that signal was a whale song that had previously been identified in various recordings. Scientists believe that the number of whales in this group that was producing these whale songs is enormous this could be breathtakingly amazing for someone to witness it on one end and on the other end you hear about stories like a whale crushing a boat in which a father and a son were fishing and crushing the boy's neck the boy had to be taken to the icu and now is battling for his life in a coma on one side whales the amazing creature on the other side whales the dangerous creature and on the third side nature is always going to do what's best for nature not what's best for you the taliban have captured another Afghan district in the third consecutive day and this is on the brink of the American troops pulling out. So the Taliban insurgents have captured another Afghanistani district on Tuesday as government forces reportedly abandoned their posts without engaging the militants. In a third straight day of insurgents overrunning districts, government forces abandoned the Khesar district after days of heavy fighting. In addition to the insurgents captured the Sharakh district as well. Now with the 
Biden administration officially announcing more troops to be withdrawn from the region. We are looking at a time and a place wherein things are getting way more riskier. More and more territory seems to be lost back to the Taliban and the Taliban are more happier than ever before considering that they get to watch the Americans leave. The only reason why they had lost most of their territory was because of Americans. And an American war that is off its original shores, an American war that forces it to venture down into a country that it has nothing to do with purely to sustain global peacekeeping initiatives. The only reason why the US was in Afghanistan was to battle terrorist groups. They wiped out Osama bin Laden, they got Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi and they compromised a bunch of other terror units as well. Now the US is talking about pulling all of its troops out and Afghanistani army and the Afghanistani governments said that they're more than capable of handling pressures of the Taliban and they can fight back. Well, it turns out that they can't. Whether the US chooses to stay, whether a new country takes in a spot that the US had curated for so long. Point of the matter is that the Taliban are up and running and are gaining territory as we speak. And before you know it, we don't want it to turn into another ISIS caliphate situation.